Echuca is a great base for exploration, so I've headed out to Strathmerton an hour's drive. I love turning up to a town and just exploring what's on offer, and I have found something I'm excited about. It's called Cactus Country. <laughs> Apparently it's a whole place dedicated to cacti. I'm excited. And because I'm testing out the Rodale, I thought I'd hitch it up for the drive. Cactus country, here we come. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. This looks like a movie set. It's huge, isn't This it? is all real, right? Yeah. This multi-generational family business is a testament to the patience of passionate people and is Australia's largest collection of cacti. Uh, we've got uh, 150 acres. There's about 12 acres of garden that's open to the public. And over behind us here, we've just started putting another um, eight acres in. Like that feeling of escapism, isn't it? Like everyone needs a break from reality at the moment, don't they? Yeah, we're well, just talking to some of the visitors that are coming here. And I think that is what we're hearing a lot is this sense of they feel like they're in another world and they're escaping a little bit of the current reality. You've been here since you were a baby. What was yeah. it like growing up here? Oh, well, as a kid, we had the BMX track over here and a little half pipe. Yeah. I don't know how we got away with um, all of the crazy things that we got up to <laughs> when we were younger, but... It is a really easy to navigate layout and every path will have you amazed. And this is the land of the giants. So <laughs> we've got some huge cacti out here. Now in spring, we've got flowering season. So the plants that are the low growing plants, they erupt in uh, huge colorful flowers. Beautiful. And the taller ones like this one. Is this your biggest one? It's one of them. So I'm about two metres tall. I reckon this is about six. What do you reckon? Oh my goodness. It, it, you look tall, it looks tall. I feel yeah. tiny. Yeah. <laughs> and there is little doubt a lot of forward planning and conceptualising has gone into this place. So what are we heading to up here? This is our foam dome. Um, Dad's had a bit more time on his hands these days, so he's started to do some more interesting projects around the garden. And we always had the idea of putting a lookout somewhere in the garden, so we built this big mound. So from up here, you can actually see the regions as well. That main trail through the middle there mm -hmm. separates South America from yep. North America and Mexico. I and see. then over here is Africa. Oh my with goodness. the bottle trees and euphorbias and you can yep. see how many of the aloes are flowering this time of year. Oh, it's stunning, And isn't then it? you can start to see the beginnings of the new parts of the garden that Dad's just started building. And is that a zone as well? Is it going to be...? Yeah, so I think his concept is that everything sort of comes to this midpoint mm -hmm. and then from there it splits out again. So I think we're going to have South America, North America and Mexico and Africa again. Fresh from Cactus Country, it was time to check in on New Age Caravans.